There we go. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> We're off to a good start. <laughs> I'm Elizabeth McLeod and I'm the author and illustrator of the Wild Women Mystery Cards, An Enchanting Journey to Your True Self and uh, sort of a development of the healing, 12 Wild Women of Freedom's healing that we're going to talk a little bit about today. And, and I'm Sarah Savota. You are. And I'm really simple. I'm a life artist. Oh, yeah. It's not so simple. It's quite creative. <laughs> right? Thank you. <laughs> we thought, um, we were talking about where is the brightest light. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very interesting. I think some people um, think that the brightest light might mean, you know, you've got to go into joy or you've got to like follow the sun or there's all sorts of ways. But in the wild, it can be a little bit different because we are looking for the place in us that makes us shine. Mm -hmm. And if we're holding things back and if we're, you know, certainly for me, if I, if I, if I don't express my full self, and then um, those places, those brightest lights inside of myself, they get lost or yeah. they get dim or they go away. Yeah. I remember when my mother died and we had such a hard time mm -hmm. getting through the estate settling and everything. It was so difficult that when I came back, I remember I went to go, went to a healer and a few months later after, you know, I mean, I'd taken care of her for so long yeah. um, that I was exhausted. And I went to the healer and I sat there and I, I was concerned and she said, you know, are you crying or something? I said, yeah, I'm not really worried about that. I'm not worried that I'm crying. I'm, I'm worried that like what's got me concerned is I'm, I'm not creating. I don't feel like doing anything, but what has me even more concerned is I'm not laughing mm -hmm. and I need to laugh again. Yeah, we're and laughers. so now I know something's really wrong mm -hmm. with me. Something's like, I, I need help. Mm -hmm. because it wasn't like yeah I wasn't crying but I wasn't laughing yeah. and that was a regular thing for me I mean I could people would say, yeah I laughed in the thick of pain and agony with you you know and yeah I and that's not to say I don't cry mm -hmm. but that place was missing yeah. when I found that when I started to cry when I started to move through all of that I ended up being more uh, in my light mm -hmm. and that's where the brightest light came from and more mm -hmm. compassion as a, as a person came from for myself for um, all mm -hmm. the difficulties that we mm -hmm. went through and as a human being in this yeah. world as a wild woman and we've got the healing the grief card out but I know mm -hmm. you want just to say something about that yeah well I think you know you walk into it uh, for both of us and for many mm -hmm. and um, you know four uh, years ago I also lost my mom mm -hmm. as you know mm -hmm. and um, there's a part in the grief book that I really would love to read sure, sure, sure. and it says wild woman the breath may be knocked out of you and leave you drowning in agony beyond your core as you leave some things in your life behind. It's lonely here sometimes. A whole ocean from anyone and there is a stillness that no one invites. And I wanted to read that part because <clears throat> While grief can look different in all aspects of loss, whether we're grieving um, a loss of a loved one or whether we're grieving uh, a loss of a, of a dream or a loss of a job, or I mean, they all come with their aspect of grief. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, my experience of grief, you know, kind of comes down to the transmutation, which was the coal mm -hmm. under pressure mm -hmm. makes a diamond. Mm -hmm. So when I, I also took care of my mom, and um, when she passed, the grief was so lonely. Mm -hmm. I felt like even the people that pretended they knew didn't know, mm -hmm. and I was all alone with this pressure. Mm -hmm. And allowing it to create the diamond mm -hmm. was the biggest lesson in my life, mm -hmm. and the one thing that brought me here and I think that it's really important that we don't step over, that grief is such an important part. Mm -hmm. And like you said, the laughing, the crying, all of it, through all of it. Well, it's very hard because for me, it's like I laugh a lot. So I knew something was really fundamentally troubled yeah. within me. And grief has its own time and its own yeah. way. 
and you there's just no ifs ands or buts about it it's going to and it comes and goes in waves mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely tidal waves yeah it's like you've lost and like when you lose your mom it's like you've lost mm -hmm. that umbilical cord to yes life. and you have to relearn how to become something mm -hmm. again and to nourish yourself yeah how do you nourish yeah. yourself? Yeah, it's hard to do when you're grieving. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's very hard to be around grieving yes. sometimes. So people will, you know, yeah. it's just very real. When I was doing the card, actually, we pulled the grief card out before we started. And there's a lot of people, um, we were talking about this, uh, a lot of people going through the deaths of their parents right now and, um, and, and loved ones with cancer yeah. and things. And it just seems to be a lot of that going around. And, um, in, for some reason in the world at the moment. And when I did the grief card, if you take a look at her, this moon, I didn't know how to do the moon, actually. It was very many mm. different colors uh, at first, and none of them worked. And then I did it white. Mm -hmm. It's the brightest light in the mm. whole deck. And she, if you look at her, she's almost like she's in a prayer position. Yes. And a lot of people look at it and they know that when they get the yes. poster or something, they say, oh my gosh, like it's, uh, I feel like related to her, she's oh, uh, in prayer yeah. position. But also too, if you, I don't know if you can see it here, but you, there's stars that are going um, around her knees and around the back of her head, um, sort of in here mm -hmm. and around here. And she's being very, very held by the universe. Mm -hmm. Even two stars are holding her mm -hmm. ankles down so that mm -hmm. she doesn't get... Um, sort of lost in in her grief. Yeah, well that reminds me of the footprints poem, right? Mm. I mean my yeah. mom had it on a on yeah. a bookmark yeah. and I kept yeah. it and put it on the vision board. Nice. After her loss, I after her death I put it on my vision board because mm. I'll never forget that because mm. it was in those moments that I was carried. Yeah. You know, I didn't know how I was gonna make it through. Yeah. That was the most painful thing I had ever experienced. Yeah. I didn't know if I wanted to live. Yeah. Like Never mind how to get through grief. Yeah, you don't think of it as grief, right? You no. think of it as just like, how am I going to do this now? And oh. Also, you're faced with so many things with something like that, like especially if it's your mother. It's yeah. like, oh, God, God, I'm next. And your own mortality mm -hmm. is part of it. So, yes. of course, you would think about why, you know, if I don't even feel like I want to live. Well, yeah, it's because, like, what does that mean? You've seen somebody die. And yeah. so now it's much more real. Yeah, and, and all the, the aspects of grief, right? Yeah. The anger, the sadness, the the isolation, the coming together, like grief is so its own space. Yeah, it really is. And I wish I had more tools and little things to help mm -hmm. me with. One of the things that in, in the in the healing system of the Wild Woman Freedoms, grief is the home freedom. Mm -hmm. Home is about love. And the mala mm -hmm. that goes with that, I think you're wearing it. Are you wearing it? I believe, so you're, yeah. You're wearing and the one. Yeah. There's a heart on it. I love it. earrings, by the way. They're and my favorite. Yes, they're the earrings. I want to own all of them. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the mala is um, rose quartz and black onyx. And um, if I had had something like this to be able to even hold mm -hmm. the meditator to ground me, Rose quartz is so wonderful for a wounded heart. Mm. So there's a real power in the in the in the healing of the tool that you yeah. can use when you just don't know what else to do, right? Yeah. Um, it, there's many different kinds. I've put them out here for us to see. But you yeah. could take a little mantra and just say, what What was it that you said? I felt like I was carried. Yeah. So you could even so you start here and you go, I am carried. I yeah. am carried. I am carried. Mm. I am carried. I'm carried. Yeah. And that might develop into something else as you go around. Yeah. I'm carried and I'm loved. I'm carried and I'm loved. And, that, and then you might weep. Yes. You know, you might weep in that, but you go all the way around and it charges the mala, but it mm. also gives that energy. It gives, it moves the energy within your system. Mm. You can do it with the small one too. You can do that with the, with the wrist malas around your mm. wrist. You can wear them on your ears, but you can also smell the oil. Like there's different things that you need oil for example mm. it's mm, you know it sounds like rose um it is it is a rose this one is really good at it um brings you back to that internal nesting and self-care so mm. all of us have really good reasons why you might want to use them and the same thing with the rose quartz and and the um the different malas for the different uh aspects that we're going through the different mm. emotions that we're going through with grief she's quite a tricky one because she's not it's not easy no 
Um, and sometimes, yeah. though, I must say, when I had a good cry, when I really cried, I felt so close to my mother yeah. or so close to what she had. So it was a way of bringing me close mm -hmm. to myself. But I needed tools. And it's one of the reasons why I've created some of these things. Different tools. Yeah. Some to touch, some to see, some just to wear and to yeah. support me, some to give me guidance, some to, to smell so that it would bypass all that stuff going on. Yeah. You know, there's so much that goes on when we're grieving. Absolutely. And in the anniversaries of all of oh, those yeah. times. I know that you're... It was oh, just it's like, ago. you know, I'm trucking along through life and then all of a sudden it's her birthday or all of a sudden it's my son birthday mm -hmm. you know and I remember when she was at the hospital with me and I remember her joy in you know bringing him home and I can see her there and mm -hmm. and so in an instant you know in an instant uh, grief mm -hmm. is there mm -hmm. and if there's one thing that's been really valuable to me it's allowing it allowing to it, be yeah. there and that's the hard part I mean it's a really good point that you bring up like I didn't want to be where I was I wanted to be laughing and all those yeah. things but I knew I couldn't yeah. so there was a point where I had to surrender and let go and let it allow it to be there and it's just I just you know really want to say I honor that place I could cry when I talk about it I know yeah. that yeah you know uh, it was hard for you I know it was hard for me the people that I went to went through it, people I work with. It's like, it's just yeah. a really difficult kind of, um, it's hard to allow it to be there. It yes. has so many tidal waves. Yes. But it's interesting, you know, where does the brightness come from? Well, this is the brightest light in the whole deck. Yeah. When you actually do your griefing work, oh. you come out the other side feeling like a different person, yeah. because you are. Yeah. Um, you understand things differently and the compassion that comes oh. with that because you start to understand things differently and the understanding and compassion with yourself, oh. right? It's, um, so this card, actually, she's one of my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, there's so many stories, you know, I'm sure that we could keep, we could talk no, forever about stories about losing our moms and what we learned from that. Yeah. Um, Big but, lessons. Oh, huge. Yeah. But for me, I would not be here if I hadn't experienced that type yeah. of grief. Yeah. It ripped me. It yeah. just ripped me. I had nothing yeah. left. You know, your your earrings have the heart, but it's not a normal heart. It's kind of it's loopy and heart. it's, you know. Yeah. And that's how it felt. It was like my heart didn't know the pathway mm -hmm. to itself. Mm -hmm. Well, the heart has, the hearts that were used for the earrings and for the malas, the heart is spiral. It spirals because mm -hmm. the tidal waves come in and out. Oh. So it's like spiraling in and spiraling out. Absolutely. And it supports you in that. It's really, really wonderful because if you can allow yourself to expand and contract, you'll find your way back to yourself because that's just the natural force of the universe. The universe is always contracting and expanding. Always. Um, Always, so, and that is power in life, right? Yeah, it, I found anyway, the power in life isn't yeah. that I'm happy all the time, yeah. isn't that I manage grief yeah. in a certain way, yeah. isn't it's not how much I laugh or how much I cry, it's that I can come and go with the tidal waves of what life brings. And it's interesting how much energy we have right now, even while we're talking about mm -hmm. it, and you can really tell that we've been through that place, and yeah. I'm sure that as you listen, you're, you know, you're having your own feelings about yeah. um, that, and, and uh, once mm -hmm. you've experienced it. I remember my doctor saying to me at one point, I always thought that um, I understood, mm. but not until my mother and my father died yeah. did I realize, I went, oh my gosh, I didn't actually understand what that really meant. Yeah. Um, so anyways, leaving you with that sort of yeah. point of of knowing that your brightest light is inside that grief somewhere, yeah. and that once you're through it, that it shines brilliantly, and that yeah. not only when you're going through it, even when you feel like there's no light there. It's shining even when you can't see it. Yeah, it's the gliding. brightest light mm -hmm. is just right there with you. And what an opportunity to find guidance, to find God, to find source when you are right on your knees. Time to use the cards and to yeah. pray and to yeah. To Absolutely, and use all these tools. So namaste, wild oh, woman. Yeah. Uh, feel I feel for everybody out in the yeah. world that is going through this kind of thing in yeah. any kind of way that they're grieving and, and uh, working their way through yeah. um, and many blessings. Yeah, we're sending you all our compassion and our, and our love. Thanks for being here.